Hey, what's going on guys? Wasted Pixels here, and today I'm going to bring you the first episode of a new series where I'm going to go in-depth with the Battlefield 3. And the first thing I'm going to cover are all the kits, and um, first kit I'm going to do is the Assault Kit. So the Assault Kit's main weapons are Assault Rifles, such as the M16, AK-74M, M416. They're all purpose weapons, they're best used for medium to close range, and... Of course, you got your secondaries, which are pistols, M1911, G17, MP443, Garage, those kind of things. But the special abilities, basically, this is where the assault kit no longer becomes the assault kit. Because its gadgets are health packs, which uh, in previous Battlefield games belonged to the medic, but the medic got taken out of Battlefield 3. And so, basically, the assault kit is the medic kit. And it needs to be played like the medic kit was, which is more of a support role. It's not really an assault. So the title of the kit can be misleading. And uh, the health packs can be thrown on the ground to heal all nearby teammates and can heal yourself. And there's been a lot of confusion about how the health system in Battlefield 3 works. And it's like this. Um, when you get shot, take damage, whatever, your health will regenerate. It will. It just takes... A while you have to stay out of battle and not get hurt for I don't know the exact time but I would guess around 30 seconds and then it'll start slowly regenerating 1% like every second or you can throw down a health pack or a teammate can throw down a health pack and basically with that there's a speed up the process to make it almost instantly to where you don't have to wait before it starts um, going up it just starts going up and it goes up a, at a much quicker rate and that's basically what health packs do so a lot of people thought that you couldn't regenerate health at all, but that's a lie, you can. And the other gadget that the medic can have is the defibrillator, which is used to revive down teammates. You know, if they die, I believe you get like 10 seconds, maybe 5, to revive them. And uh, of course, you can decline the, in the revive in this, and the revive will take away the death of the person you heal. So it won't count. And if they die again, then it's not like they get another death on top of that. But you need to be smart with that. You need to not just run out and revive people in the middle of battle. Because it'll end up getting you killed and getting them killed. And just take them longer to respawn. Another uh, gadget that the assault kit can have is the grenade launcher. Now, in previous battlefields, the grenade launcher was mainly used to blow down walls and stuff. And uh, make entrances into buildings. But in this battlefield... The grenade launcher is actually a very effective weapon and actually has enough damage to kill someone from full health in one launch, unlike previous battlefields. So the grenade launcher is a viable option. It does take away the medic pack though, so you can choose to be a healing assault guy or you can choose to be a more assault-like assault. <laughs> I know I've said assault a lot, but that's basically what it is. So you can use the grenade launcher to blow down walls to get into buildings, or you can just use it to kill people. And it's pretty effective. Another thing the assault kit gets is the underbarrel shotgun, which is exactly what it says, and the shotgun under the barrel, and the underbarrel smoke grenade. You can use that to launch smoke onto like a flag if you're playing conquest, or even on an objective if you're trying to run in there. Say a bunch of people are just laying down guarding a rush bomb site, you can just smoke up and then just run in there and plant it with your buddies. And uh, there are really two main ways to play the assault kit effectively. The first one is probably the most common one, which is to basically use it as a medic. And uh, this is more of a support role, you got to stay back out of the action a little bit, heal your buddies and give them health. The main people who are going to be the ones attacking are going to actually be the engineer and the support kit. So you want to be the support basically and just give them health, make sure that they're not dying when they're trying to get those objectives. The other way you can play the assault kit is in a more aggressive style, using like the grenade launcher or the smoke to uh, hide objectives or blow up buildings to get to bomb plants. More like how it was in previous Battlefield titles when it came to the Assault Kit. Okay, and now, now that I've cleared up how to use the Assault Kit properly, I'm going to give you my personal favorite Assault Kit that I've came across so far. Now, I haven't unlocked all the guns, so 
This might change down the road, but right now this is the kit that I'm having most success with. I'm going to go ahead and pop it up on the screen and I'm going to read it out so you guys have no confusion. Okay, for the gun, it is the M416, which is unlocked fairly early. I believe it's like the second unlock you get. And uh, I use it with a red dot, a silencer, and a foregrip. Foregrip to take down the recoil, silencer to, of course, not show up on the minimap, and it doesn't seem to deflect the uh, bullets or deflect the damage too much. And then red dot, of course, to lock on the targets easier and just have better sights than the iron ones. And uh, secondary, this is all personal preference. I personally like pistols that are spammable, that you can shoot quite quickly instead of the high damage ones such as the MP4 Rex or whatever. I don't, I don't remember what it's called, or the Magnum. I prefer the MP443 Garage with attack light because you're going to be using your pistol in close range, so you might as well have that magical God's Light blinding power that everyone's so happy about. And for the gadgets, I prefer the med pack because I like being more of a medic assault guy, and I prefer the defibrillator, which is, of course, the only gadget you can have in that slot. And uh, for the spec, this is really all up to how far you've progressed and what level you are, but I personally use squad sprint. I thank you for watching this first episode of Battlefield 3 In-Depth. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, and also leave your favorite assault class setup in the comments below so other people can check them out. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's another assault rifle out there that's way better than the M416. Like I said, this is all personal opinion and this is just the kit that I've had most success with and uh, I am mainly an assault guy so I kinda know my stuff with this but um, yeah be sure to leave questions if you have any or maybe I made a mistake and you can correct me. I don't really care. Constructive criticism is always good, and if you did enjoy this video, please like it. If you didn't, go ahead and dislike it, but if you're going to dislike it, leave why you disliked it in the comments. Maybe just hate my face, I don't know, even though you're not really seeing my face, but um, yeah. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys later.